Hey church, I'm Colleen, and I'm excited to share with you today as we continue in our Grow series this new week on a power to grow. Today we're going to be reading out of the book of John, chapter 15, verse 5. Let's read it together. Jesus says this, Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. You know, it's so fascinating that this was uh, the verse given to me because a, a Healing Place College student just shared on it just yesterday during our devotional time. And she talked about being pruned to produce. You know, what Jesus says here in, in the verses preceding it, if you read it, we aren't exempt from pain. We are still gonna be pruned, but pruning back for the purpose of producing more fruit. You know, my kids, last week, they cut some new roses from the garden only to see them when they brought them inside, still put them in water, but they withered and died. Because truly, they were cut from what gave them life, and they severed and therefore died. You know, I think about a citrus tree that I recently uprooted, and now I'm going to have to wait longer for the fruit as it produces new roots in a new soil. You see these observations that we can't do anything apart from abiding or remaining in Christ. Oh, I thought when I was reading this, he says, yes, I am the vine and you are the branches. Oh God, forgive me when I forget who the source is, when we can get so lost in our doing and lose sight of who we are becoming and only becoming that way because we are grafted, we are connected to, we are abiding in Christ. You see, when we abide in God, it produces much fruit in our lives. As Christians, we're called to abide in Christ. But how do we do that? What does that actually look like? How do we remain in Christ? You know, I thought of two ways. Practicing spiritual disciplines, reading the word, listening, praying, worshiping, fasting, giving, staying connected to God through his word and listening to his voice. And then the second I thought about participating in spiritual community. You know, God from the beginning was on the power of relationship. And that's how iron sharpens iron. We're going to grow spiritually more mature alongside a community of believers. And so that's how we abide in Christ is knowing his word and allowing other people and the Holy Spirit to convict and bring us closer to looking more like Jesus. You see, the fruit only grows when we remain and we can't cultivate this fruit on our own. We only are responsible for the soil. We're responsible to water and fertilize and cultivate the soil, but growth comes only from God when we abide and we remain in Christ. We are responsible to posture and position ourselves for growth. But remember that God does the growing because it's amazing to see what time will do. Just time planted in the soil, in good soil, watered and nourished, and just consistency in abiding in Christ, and we will grow and produce much fruit. So the truth is today in John 15, 5, that when we abide in Christ, Christ produces fruit in us. We're responsible for the soil and cultivating and posturing ourselves to abide in him, and he will bear the fruit in us. So my challenge to you today is to commit to being in good soil. Who are the people around you? How, how are you being in consistency and reading the word and praying in the spiritual disciplines and being part of spiritual community? As we abide in Christ, he will grow us and we will bear much fruit. Have a great day. 